County. Three, two, one, mark. T minus four minutes and counting. This is Atlas Mission Control at T minus three minutes, 49 seconds and counting. Denver address, Cape Winds on the MetNet. Go ahead, Cape Winds, this is Denver address. We have termination of LR5 at 60.0 K feet. Great, thank you. Cape Winds out. Pressures. Denver address, Cape Winds on the MetNet. This is Atlas Mission okay, Control, T minus two minutes, 46 uh, yes, uh, seconds, like and counting. Launch vehicle is now going to flight pressure. To Once the rocket lifts off, it will take approximately 52 seconds to reach Mach 1, or the speed of sound. Uh, if we launch it window open, the mission will be complete in about 30 minutes after launch with the separation of ICO G1 from the launch vehicle. Roger, Cape Winds out. This is Atlas Mission Control, two minutes, four seconds, and counting, and we're continuing to progress as planned. All systems go for liftoff as scheduled for 12 p.m. Eastern. Launch sequencer start. Securing center LH2. Securing center LH2. Launch enabled. FTS on. Orca's arm. FTS count started. And found block. Fifty five seconds and counting. Stable at step three. This is Atlas Mission Control at T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Atlas Engine Ignition, ignition. 1, 0, and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying ICO G1 for ICO Global Communications and Lockheed Martin Commercial Launch Services. The G1 satellite will enable the new ICO nationwide mobile interactive media service, providing live mobile television, a new level, level of interactive consumer navigation, and enhanced roadside assistance capabilities.
normally. We are supersonic at this point. We're now throttling back up. Atlas PU has gone to closed loop control. Everything is looking good. We're now operating the RD-180 at 80%. SRB chamber pressure is looking as expected. Coming up on SRB burnout, approximately 10 seconds. Everything continues to operate normally. RD-180, and we have burnout on the SRBs. We are throttling up the RD-180 back to 100% thrust. And we are seeing the effects in the PU system. Engine operating parameters look good for this portion of flight. Next mark event we are looking for is SRB jettison in approximately 30 seconds. The engine continues to operate normally. Acceleration levels right as expected. Passing through two Gs. And we are seeing PU operate as expected, continuing to operate the RD-180 at 100% thrust. Coming up on SRB jettison. We have SRB jettison. Both brake wires show a good jettison of the SRBs. RD-180 continues to operate normally. We are now 28 nautical miles in altitude, 58 miles downrange, traveling at 4,900 miles per hour. And we have fired the pyro valves, react activating the reaction control system. Everything looks good there. The RD-180 uh, has throttled down to its 95% level as per the engine scheduler. Pressurization signature on RCS looks good. Acceleration continues to be smooth and as expected. Next throttle segment we are looking for is our constant 4.6 G limiting phase. Expect to hit that in approximately 25 seconds. Engine continues to operate normally. Normal PU activity. Acceleration looks good. We are past four and a half G's, approaching our controlling, and we are now controlling to 4.6 G's. As expected, we have started boost phase chill down. Everything looks good there, approaching our BECO time in approximately 20 seconds. Engine's throttling down to maintain 4.6 G's. As expected, boost phase chill down continues. We have completed boost phase chill down. Coming up on BECO, we have booster engine cutoff, normal cutoff. Everything looks good. We have stage separation, good extensiometer. Ignition, or we have pre-start on fuel and locks. Coming up on first burn, ignition, and full thrust. RL-10 is up and running normally. Good start signature. This is Atlas Coming Mission Control at L plus four minutes, 39 seconds into the flight, jettison. and the flight is continuing as planned. We've had our mark events occurring as planned with the two solid rocket boosters uh, burning out and jettisoning at two minutes, 17 seconds into the flight approximately. And just a few moments ago, as you heard, the uh, booster engine cutoff mark event occurred as planned. Stage separation occurred. And and main engine start number one and payload fairing jettison have uh, just occurred. So we're in the first burn with the payload fairing jettison having just uh, event having just occurred. We're now into the uh, first burn of the Centaur, nine minutes fifty-seven seconds for this first burn, followed by a coast phase. The launch vehicle is now at an altitude of one hundred and eight miles, um, ninety-five nautical miles. Altitude distance downrange is five hundred and 32 miles downrange from Cape Canaveral, traveling at a velocity of 12,616 miles an hour. This